you know, obviously, like I was saying earlier, with with the whole like work scenario, going to work and you're getting just getting abused left, right, center. You're thinking like, okay, I've got to be, I've got to be strong, I've got to be strong. And like, I just remember, I remember like when um, I think it was it um, I think it was Juventus in it. So when you know, you know, Moise Keane. Mm. So you know when he was playing, f- he was at Juventus for I don't know how long, but the the fans he scored were that like, goal. yeah, the fans were just getting onto him in it when he was getting racially abused and yeah. he and scored that goal and he done the dance in front of them. Yeah, 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 that that, 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 that was sick. I think it was Bologna. Or yeah, something. I think oh, it was like she, a normal league game. Yeah, yeah. Serial, league yeah. game in it, but like what I'm trying to say is I saw that and I remember um, Chiellini was like, bro, come, just what are you doing? But it's like. It's easy for you to say that because you're not you're not the one getting abused, mm-hmm. isn't it? But I, I feel like sometimes yeah, this whole thing of like, okay, just just take it. You're a footballer. Why why just take it? Do you know what I'm trying to say? But it's yeah, like obviously like, until they're in your skin, then they don't understand how it really feels. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you know what I mean? they're not gonna know how it, it's gonna. They don't know what it's gonna. They don't know the impact it has on us or how it really feels. And if if they were actually, do you know what I mean? This this um color of skin. Lucky, but Bro, how, how do you protect your mental health from that though? I went through the worst of the worst, in it, when I was in Bulgaria, and like I remember I was warming up, and then I just got I was warming up to cup game, I was warming up, like my teammates in there just having a bit of banter that while I was warming up. Next thing you know, ooh ooh, <laughs> Bro, at first, do you know what I'm saying? This is how mad it is, and I was having this conversation with my boys the other day. I was laughing mm. when I heard that. I was like, oh, here we go. I started laughing, bro. Literally, because it's like, how else did you react to this now, innit? I just started laughing and then it got worse and it got worse. Then then I got angry, innit? But then then my teammates started to get like angry. They started to get pissed off because it's like, bro, like, uh, that's man's teammate. Like, how how is he just going through this? And we've come to play this game and then their fans are doing their madness now. And like, forget that. So... The, you get me? They're like, oh, shut up, like, stop, relax. And then, I remember, the game's still going on, by the way. So, obviously, where the TV camera was, so, obviously, I'm going mad now. I'm getting pissed off, but then, um, they've, um, the coaches have called, it's hot, literally, it's just happened at half-time, so, they've called me in. I'm going mad. They're like, just calm down, calm down. They're like, we need you in now as well. So, imagine, I've just dealt with that. And the manager, then my team is saying, look, my manager is saying, look, I need you now. I need you to come and play. So I'm thinking, all right, all right, cool. So then I've had to shift my mind from that and then shift my mind onto my job now. Like, mm. I need to be fully focused on trying to win this cup game. And then I remember, like, playing, playing, it was calm. When the ball got out of play, then I'd think, i have time to, like, my mind, my mind's at ease. Then it would come straight to my head. Then boom, throwing, balls back in play. Here we go, it's gone. Mm. And then it was mad. And then obviously when it finished, the game finished, I just I was just like, bro, like this bro, this actually happened to me. I just couldn't believe it, bro. Like life, like first hand. And then yeah, man, the club dealt with it, but like I remember like the manager was just like, relax, like it's okay. I was like, fam, like it's not okay because mm, like, what if you mean, what was, you mean it's okay, like if you was um, if you was going through, if you was my color, if you were the color of my skin, and and you felt those words, you heard those words, you'd be upset. I remember one game, he was like, if they say any like racist chants, please, please, don't lose your temper, don't get mad. But it's like, all right, cool, but how? How like mentally, you, it's like, yeah, mentally, how? But obviously, so it's just one of those things. But then. My club supported me. They were good, to be fair. Like, they sorted everything out. The club got fined. All of that. It was mm. good. But, like, just that situation was just weird. Like, it was like, first time, like, live actually feeling it was a bit nuts. Yeah, like, I know you said they support... Oh, no, sorry. It's always those countries in, like, Bulgaria, Serbia, and that, it's like they always have, like, an issue. Mm. Because remember when um Danny Rose played with England and then he got... A similar thing as well. Yeah. Was that, um, so he got it. It was the whole team in it. That yeah. 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 That, that game was yeah. mad. That, that was that years was ago. That was against Serbia. Serbia. That was mad. But it's crazy because yeah. being said, it happens here though. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it actually, it happens in England stadiums like yeah. Rudiger against Chelsea. 
Oh, sorry, rude against against Tottenham mm. like two years ago, December. He got it. Sterling was getting it. Like the other day, what the fans are booing because the players are taking the knee. Like, mm. do you know what I mean? Like, it's just mad. But like, it's like wherever it's just I don't know. Like I said, as long as they educate people and to teach them, look, this is not right. Then hopefully things will move forward. But until then, boy. It, it, it's it can, it's just got to the point where it is what it is now. Like for me now, like if I was to get, it's crazy. Like it's crazy that I have to have this mindset. But if I was to get racially abused ever again, God forbid, like it would never, even, it wouldn't even phase me, bro. I don't even think it would get to me. Yeah, I'll have my moment when I'm away, but couldn't get to me one bit. And it's sad that we have to have this mindset and channel our mind to, to that. Whereas because if we do react, it's like oh you stepped out of line. There's kids watching. But then, it, but then it's like at the same time it's like, how could you fault a player for stepping out of line when he's receiving all that all that abuse and not even about what he's doing it about the color of his skin or where he's from or how he looks? It's a yeah, bit mad. That you can't even change. You know what I mean? Man. So, like I said, literally, just going through all those experiences, it's just made me so much more mentally stronger, man. I'll be real. No, I, I rate you, man. Like, and of course, like that just shows, like, you know, how you can be professional. How you know, even even though you shouldn't, you shouldn't have to take, you shouldn't have to firm it, you shouldn't have to like, mm. just like, you know. But this is this is what it is. Like, and we we've seen it probably in a few times when like there's been incidents. Yeah, and of course, yeah, like like I said with the England match. Yeah, they continue playing in it. Like some people even some people even kind of like. Um it doesn't even phase them in a way where like they don't let it get to them so they might spin it for example um, when they were uh, racially abusing Danny Alves someone threw a banana yeah, man just threw a banana and mm-hmm. ate it like it you like know what I mean so it's like nothing. you know there's all these different incidents and but obviously everyone's different not everyone will have that resilient spirit where like you know what yeah <laughs> I'm laughing at them too like I'm not gonna let it bro like but that's just me though like I just started burst out laughing I was like bro like these not actually doing the monkey thing to me like I'm actually it's actually happening to me today that's just me like but then then it got serious I was like bro like, it was, then it was just Solomon ooh, ooh, do you know what I mean it was mad then that's when I, I started getting hurt but at first it was just that's just like that's just how I am in it I'm just mm. do you know what I mean but like it's even crazy now because I remember and you probably uh, talk more about but I remember even when they took it to social media like oh it yeah feedback. Yeah, mad. It was so. Uh, what happened? We played a game, away game. We drew no no, but Benham I played well. Probably one of the best performances I've played for that team as I was setting in in, in CSK. Bro, drew no no. One fan just. Bro, just just bare banana splits. Mm. It was mad. But then it was mad because I remember I reported him, sent a screenshot of him, sent it to the president of the club. The ultra fans knew who the guy was. Then he messaged me literally saying, oh, I love black players. Um, Send me a picture of him taking a picture with two ex-black teammates. Then I was, I just responded to him. I don't usually respond to people. I just said, look, like, um, you shouldn't have, I said, what you done was out of order. How can you tell me? That's why I actually, that's why I actually responded. I was just like, um, you're telling me you love you love black people and um you you, t- you took a picture of two of these black guys but you're there sending me banana splits some monkey emojis. I just left that that. Like, because I remember when um no I don't know if you showed me but I remember my aunt I think my aunt showed me. I just remember like my aunt my aunt and my your dad were ready to just like right listen we need to like just ride out listen this because honestly you need to shame this because because what it is all that happens is like. Oh, I'm not racist, but yeah, I got, oh, I've got black, you know, I've yeah, got man. black friends. I've got, they got say I've got that all the time. All the time. They say that all the time. Even there was one recently, and not, not, the, not, the not lady, the lady, and the club. Oh my god. Oh my. God. When I'm, and you Bro. see, like, who? Well, she, she um, didn't get let into a club, and she said something mad. Like she, she called him a black, the black c word. Yeah. Who said that? The, the, the woman, the lady to the bouncer basically because oh. he said no you're too drunk to get in the club oh. and then the, it, the video went viral and then that statement was oh I've got black friends and everything oh. it's like I right, remember your black friends before stuff like that comes out of your mouth regardless of if you're drunk mm-hmm. 
Do you know but, what I mean? I, but what it is is as well is that is that oh, but you see people are what she was saying is that oh, people are getting onto me, my mental health. I've got to deactivate my account. No, I keep that same yeah. energy, B, because <laughs> when you were, <laughs> when you was screwing your nonsense, yeah, you oh, wasn't you weren't by his mental yeah. health. Word. So I'm trying to say, and, and this is the thing is like this kind of like oh, just firm and just be strong, man. But actually no. But what if like I want that I want that 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 gets to me so much, yeah, that. Again, I don't even want to be a bouncer no more because if I don't let someone else in, what what's their response going to be? Bro, it's, not, it's not, not even that. Forget about no want to be a bouncer no more. What what if I, w- I don't want to be on this earth no more? Then what? Do you get what yeah, I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. So it's like this, these are things people don't understand. Like this is how it affects your mental health. So like when people say, oh, like let's see when that like, um when you said oh the guy your manager was like oh just yeah fan of the, t- the team done what they need to do in terms of supporting you. But when they say oh just just go go and get. That just shows you, you don't, that's what I'm saying, you, that's something you never have to worry about. It's because they don't understand. They don't what? understand it. You're not, you're not black. You, you can't, that, you, that John mm. you never have to go through that. So don't, you can't just tell me, oh, just firm it, man. Mm. What do you mean? Like, just firm it. Even one, um, one time, um, was it, was it Eto when he walked off the pitch? He's like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not playing. Why, why? Because what? Because I'm, cause I'm, I'm a football, I'm meant to take it. I'm not playing. Oh, I'm you know what? I, I think I remember one incident one time with um, Bar. You know, but uh, them. Oh bar. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think they that was quite recent. Then it was that like, re- recent, then it. I think that it was, was on uh, Trasbon Sport versus PSG. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They stopped the, the, that lecture. I remember them stopping the game, so the players literally walked out. The yeah, field yeah, yeah. Because of, of what happened, I think the referee. <laughs> like, like he, he says, he said, I don't know if it was a red flag, but I think he was more pissed about how he re- reacted, no, how he responded to someone else. Yeah. I'm not sure what it was, but he was like, "What's like?" But he was getting onto them, like, so what, like, what's that about?" Sort yeah. of thing, innit? Mm. And like, and obviously, like, yeah, like taking the knee. Some might say it's, it's an empty gesture. Some might say this and that. But obviously, like, with a lot of things, yeah, and I, I won't even want to go into too much because of time and stuff. But a lot of the things, yeah, like you see with these like issues, in it because like if you hit them where it hurts, mm. it's not gonna. But the thing is, with with, with most of these footballs and even other like sports like basketball and American football, a lot of the people at the top, they're all, they're not black, they're, they're either white or even some, maybe like some are not even some from other places. So they don't, like, it's hard to kind of like hit them where it hurts because they, you know what I'm saying? They don't, if like was a, some a black influence in charge now, there might be a different story, but obviously that, all that is just kind of, you know, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna take time in it, but I feel like, I don't know the, the the exact solution, but listen, like more definitely needs to be done to like protect people's mental health. And it's not about oh, just firm it yeah, after the game. It's like and it's like this, and I and I, I feel personally, there should be a stance where like if they say one person's our teammates getting getting abused, I will all riding out for him. I'm not no, saying no. riding out in the sense where like you go and like attack the fan. Yeah, like I will walking off. Ah, right, come, we'll, we'll walk off. Then mm. what? But you the thing is, my one was where we were. I was the game was going on. We was even, I was even playing. Mm. We were warming up by the stands, and that's where I was getting it. So see, my teammates, my teammates on the pitch, they're not hearing nothing. Mm. They're not next to it. But me and my six other teammates that are warming up, getting ready to come on. They're seeing me get it first hand, and they're going mad. And mm. they're like, "No, this is flipping wrong. Like, what the hell? Like, they're going mad. My sports scientist going mad." Cussing them in Bulgarian, mm. telling their um the other um fitness coach of the other opposition team, chat to your fans, tell them to stop. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because that's just this is just bang out order. Yeah, like I mean, it's good, it's good that they they supported it, but no, but obviously, like even like just on a, on our last one, even just I know you said yeah, you was like yeah, like kind of taking it on, not taking at it first. Like I said, at mm. first when it happened, bro, just laughing, I was thinking, bro, like. Bro, they're calling me a monkey like that. That was my reaction. Mm. Then it started getting worse and worse, and then I was just like, "Raw!" I was fuming, I was angry. And then I was just like, right, "Cool," but then, like I said, it's like you're fuming, you're angry, but then, boom, you're in love with. You need to go and perform. You need to. We need mm. to win this game. So like, I've got to block that out. My job. The ball goes up for a throw. Mine's clear. Mine's fresh. I just got racially abused. These lot just monkeyed me off. Mad. Head's gone again. Boom. Throwing back into play. Do you know what I mean? Where's the next game? I'm passing to what, what decision I'm making, bro. It's mad. People don't understand that. Exactly. Like, you're, you're, you're trying to still work. 
but still deal with that. And Bro. it's like, whereas I don't know if I can, I don't know, for instance, like for instance, that bouncer that day, he gets racially abused. Bro, I'll, I'm going home, bro. I'm going home. Exactly, exactly. I can't walk off the pitch. I can, but because it didn't happen in that moment, I'm not gonna just walk off the pitch. I just said, you know, I've got to do my job quick. Mm. But then, but we'll yeah, deal but with it yeah. after. But it it obviously it, it though, affected it? me mentally. Yeah, of course. The mental, do you know what I mean? And even just like I know you, like I said, how, so even just that alone. But how do you kind of like mentally like deal with it afterwards? I know in, in the moment you're fuming. Oh, afterwards. Mm. Afterwards, I was calm, you know, I was fine. But I was, all the support, I was fine. I had the support of my family, friends, and mm. I was calm, man. I don't know, like, I think I was flying back to England, like, the next week, so I was calm. As long as I was around my family, you know, I was fine. But it was hot, it was hurt, it did hurt. It was heartbreaking at the beginning, man. Yeah, I don't think that's something that you want to do in front of your son. You don't even want to dwell on it, you don't even want to think about it, you're just trying to. Yeah, like to to more, to yeah, more no more one time. should definitely go through that, no matter what, whether you're you're kicking ball or just any, anything. Do you know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. like, and obviously, like you don't you don't know how how it affects others until it happens to you, innit? and it's Literally. like because like, yeah. it never happens to me at that point. Like, like, what? You, why just call me? And sometimes you might think, okay, instantly, like, what? Did this guy just come? Like, that's a, that's <laughs> literally because <laughs> like, like, even like, like even like when I first uh, went moved there, bro. Nothing. Played in the biggest derby, bro. Mad derby. Levski versus CSK Sofia. Matting. That, <laughs> that week, bro, if the taxi driver's a Levski fan, you're not getting in the taxi, bro. Is it? No, you're not getting in the taxi. <laughs> Is that serious? Yeah, bro, you're not getting in the taxi, bro. I remember when I wasn't driving, I would get in the taxi. Taxi man would come, I'll bust the door open to get in. Look at me. Nah, yeah. Solomon, sorry, I can't take it. Wow. I have to call the next taxi. Cool. That's how competitive was that. And I loved that, can't lie. Mm. And then I remember when, so then like, when England played against Bulgaria, I was on my way back from Singapore with the national team. Mm. And then, bro, when we landed, my phone, ting, 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 ting. Bro, you need to get out of Bulgaria now. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Bro, they just racially abused um, the England players. I was like, oh, wow. But then, so then my group chat, in my team so I messaged the group chat like hey like screenshot like what's going on here like what happened they're like no 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 Bulgaria don't please it's not a racist country it's just the small minority that wanted to be silly and embarrass the country on TV it was a political thing mm. so hooligans basically done that to get the Bulgarian FA um, head of football out of his job you know, but that's a crazy way to bro, that's the wild, embarrass that's your wild. country. I mean, there's so, other ways. Like, that sounds like a conspiracy, bro. <laughs> so, actually, like, there's other ways. Actually. So when I was like, raw, but then no, like my fans were good, sick, supporting me, bro. Protected. They see me on the street. How were you? How was your day? Yeah. See me in the restaurant, bro. It was like just the joy of them to see you play for their team. Yeah, that's yeah. That, that's I love that. Do you know what I mean? So it was like. Bro, full, full respect to them, man. I love that. And like, like I said, even just from everything we've been talking about, like, I think, like with these things with football, it's not just about just, like what what, what we see in it from yeah. like, oh, no, there's so those, much things. With the TV screen. You know I mean? like, the bro, there's so much like, things. Because your, your mind is everything, isn't it? That's, the, that's, that's the, what that's drives what, you. Like, that's what keeps you going. Do you know what I mean? That makes you, makes your next decision. Do you, do you know what I mean? mean? And like, from what we've we've discussed and what you've, you've told us, it seems like yeah, your mind's in the right place, your mind's driven, and long may it stay, long may it stay like that, man. Because obviously, you're still you're still in your in your prime. You're still well, you've got you got still what, years ahead of you career wise and all that stuff in it. So, like, definitely continue to have that mindset and just yeah, man. I'm, I can, you, you dealt with it well. I'm not gonna lie, like you know, like because boy. Like I said, with racism, no one knows how how it, how to react. And I said, them some might it, might it might be an impulse where you know what you want to do something you might just see yeah, red, bro. and you know that can even lead to other stuff that you know what I'm gonna say. So every, everything is has to be as mad as it is. You have to you have to, your decisions will affect you tomorrow. Right? I mean, whether that's you know like you being a football player. So I don't know if you being a football player. Like if you do something mad, you just you know like okay, listen, I've. I can't move a certain way. I can't do this and that. Even though it's mad right now, even though it's probably warranted that, because you know what, I didn't come here to be abused. Like this, you know, I, I didn't come work 
to be abusing it. So like, but you're still like, you know what? I've got what I've got to fight with to do. Do you know what I mean? So it takes a lot of mental toughness though, like being a footballer, you know, because I think these fans just do these things because they want to try get a reaction out of you. you I'm telling you, and and the thing is, can't let them. What's even cheeky yeah, is mm. like the same fans. In the fans, they have all the energy to to monkey chant, to do manage to shout on top of their lungs, but the minute they get caught, they oh. found the way they, where they work, their name, da, da, da. Oh, oh, you know what? Um, my mental health. Nah, that's what I'm oh. saying. Keep the same energy because you, when you was in the stands doing what you're doing, you yeah. weren't thinking about work. <laughs> you were thinking about your kids, your wife. So yeah. keep that same energy. I'm not. I'm not saying. Oh. I'm not. I'm not saying like people should go and like harm. I'm just saying. Nah. Hold the L. They just need to be more strict with, you know, just giving up. Exactly. Strict now, though. Yeah. They're finding people. Yeah, they're yeah. They're finding they're finding now, getting, like, that getting, Brighton player was getting abused from an account. They found him. They found they that found guy. Him. And, yeah. and I love how they're quick with it. Listen, you, you want to chat shit? Boom. We'll find we'll you. Find we'll find you. you. And that's it. You're gone. So it's like, Man. don't don't gas. Oh, shit. Do you know what I mean? My bad. Don't gas, in it. Do you know what I mean? But, um, but yeah, man, bro, Viv. It's been a Talk pleasure, man. Yeah. Appreciate you coming on, Thank shedding you, that light. Because as I said, we're, you know, as much as we are, we talk about grief, but also we do mental health as well in it. So it's like, it's just good hearing that perspective. Like, and I think a lot of the time people don't really know a lot about, there's not much said a lot about mental health and football. In it, oh, do you know what I mean? It's often mm. something that's kind of like, there are, there, there are some things that are in place now, like working on, but it's often kind of like, just kind of put to a side, you know, so, Appreciate you for doing that, man. No, man. You know what I mean? I'm like, always. And like, just, just to round up. Finally. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> bro, finally. Like, like, last, last. Bro, it's been, a, bro, it's been, it's been bro, long. It's been but you know, I, I always knew we were going to do it. So I wasn't, no, I wasn't we was going to really do it at person. some point. Do you know what I mean? Point, it's so, better so. to do it when it, we all have time. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Because I know you've got to make time on. Schedule's but hectic no, for you. And you know what I mean? So definitely, man. But um, Bro, love for coming on, man. Always. Just briefly, like, just briefly, just plug anything you got going on, whether it's football wise, where and where people can find you as well. So um my Instagram is Viv Solomon seventeen. My Twitter is uh Viv Solomon seventeen as well. Everything's Viv Solomon seventeen. So yeah, if you wanna follow me just you'll find me. Or even if you just type in Viv Solomon, no one has my name, you'll find me. So I don't know, I'll, I'll I'll put the I'll put the but yeah, I'll put the yeah, but good. um it's yeah, good, it's, it's been a crazy. good one. And yeah, I mean, that's yeah. So, everyone watching, listening, subscribe on the YouTube channel, on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcast. Share with a friend, like, repost, you know, because obviously these conversations are just as important as, as grief. Do you know what I mean? Like, mental health is like, it affects us everywhere, innit? Whether, no, like I said, whether you're, you're playing football, whether we're doing whatever we're doing, well, it, yeah. it's, it, mm-hmm. it's, if that's not right, then, do you know what I mean? Nothing else will function, innit? Do you know what I mean? So, Love for that, bro, man. No, Appreciate 100% it. 100% always.